Did you, do you remember the Dragon Ball Z movie? The one that Dragon Goku Ball. was like a jewel? Dragon Ball Evolution, that was terrible. <laughs> what was the worst? That's the worst one, man. The only yeah. good anime movie is Speed Racer. <laughs> No, like right? no, it's not good, bro. That's all. Uh, that's your opinion. Look at the source material, man. It's all zany and fucking nuts. Bro, like. bro, she looks like he's thirty. What is up, guys? Welcome to It Was Written TV. Another movie cast Number three. episode. Three, three, right? Yeah, episode three. three. We're gonna talk about Death Note. <coughs> My boy Aaron. Death Note? Death Note. Death. Death. <laughs> death. <laughs> I wish I was Death. <laughs> that movie, uh, just the way they talk, I don't like it. Nah, it was just too Americanized. And, uh, Light Turner. Light Turner. <laughs> and then Mia, whatever. I said Misa. Mia Box of Pants. But, I don't know, man. I wanted to like that shit so bad, but, uh, it just. Just the scene where he just started screaming his lungs out, acting like a bitch, and I was just like, they degraded his character entirely. And yeah. I was like, nah. And like the original, he was just like, I have power. I have, he, he was, he's a dick, bro. He's like this power hungry, you know, dickhead. And so he's like, he's psychotic. Yeah. But this guy was like, he's a little punk. He's a little bitch, bro. Like, you start off with good intentions, and then he just become like, started becoming more of a bitch as the movie progressed. Yeah. And I was just like, that just tarnished his character entirely. And then the whole his whole relationship with this chick who was supposed to be Misa was just like way too forced and way like stupid as fuck. I like, don't I don't like. They were in the gymnasium. Just the focus point of the whole movie. All right, so they, they were in the gym, right? He had his notebook <clears throat> right here, and she comes up to him and asks him, "Oh, about the the guy who died, the kid who died." And he's like, "Yeah, I saw it." And he just like out of nowhere I'm gonna show her the notebook mind you he doesn't know this girl at all like yeah. this girl they portrayed her to be edgy as fuck because this bitch is smoking a cigarette while everyone's cheerleading or whatever and I'm just like give me a fucking break so the way he got knocked out yeah like so he when once he finds out he can like kill people on the notebook he's like let me go tell this girl I just I don't I barely don't even know and, and that, I just talked to her for five minutes it was like a day after secret. right like a day or two yeah like the day after he got knocked out and he decides to tell his girl like his fucking, you know, secret like, out of like as if she was his best friend. This was like me telling some random bitch I met in class or at work, yo, I can kill people if I write names in a notebook. And of course, she ate it all up. She got horny to the shit. So she was psycho. Too. She was crazy as fuck. I didn't like that. I mean, like, there is a. I don't know if you skipped the part, but the whole time, the time skip of the montage of him killing people. She would get like a sexual thrill of him like <laughs> writing down names. She's like, oh, and it was just like make out fucking he, profusely. And he shit. was just like writing down. The more names, she but, just got like off. Yeah, and then scenes when he wasn't like you know writing shit down or killing people, she, she looked bored as fuck. But as soon as she wrote, he wrote something down in a book. He, she just got fucking. She creamed herself. She just like started fuck like wanted to fuck this guy. Oh, that's hard, man. And then, remember the part where he's like, oh. Like his dad was on the TV and said, "Oh, we gotta kill your dad." Yeah, so like, oh, let's kill your fucking dad. Like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> your like, dad's gotta die, nigga. We gotta fucking kill your pops because I was like, and then she, I had no way she ran off. Like, you the fuck, fucking bitch. Uh, you little unstable ass bitch. Huh? Write your fucking name in the book as soon as you try to do that shit. Remember when they, when she was like on the website at school, she's like, "Oh, these people made this website about like all the people we should kill." And he's like, we can't do this shit. And yeah. she's like, why the fuck not? And I'm like, the fuck is wrong with this bitch? I just didn't like it how in an anime, she's she's a tool. Like, this nigga has no feelings for her. She's, he just uses her, yeah. you know, just to his descent into like being a power hungry nigga. And, you know, he just uses her as opposed to this movie is just more or less of he's yeah. pussy with and he, yeah. and he, and he fucked up her bitch. Yeah, he loves her, which, to like it's not supposed to be like that, you know. The problem for me, at least, it was that they didn't show light as like the fucking crazy as genius. That no, they tried to like yeah. made him sympathetic, and it's just like you're not supposed to be rooting for this guy. Mm -hmm. Like at first, yeah, because he starts off with good intentions, but like after having that book for a while, you see him getting power hungry and like doing all this crazy, crazy shit. Like he, 
good intentions, yeah. But as soon as like people started getting onto him, he starts killing innocent people as opposed to like killing like criminals and you know rapists and shit. But I didn't like how he killed the bully because mm -hmm. the bullies were just like tossing the backpack around, and Riku's like, yeah, kill yeah, him. They're yeah. tossing this girl's backpack around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As opposed to anime where these guys were trying to rape yeah. this chick, and I was just like, okay, that's just fine. Yeah. But they're calling this fucking bitch a nerd, and they're just like throwing her backpack from, from oh. one bully to another. Ha 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 you fucking nerd. <laughs> and then Reeve is like, he's the scum of the earth, he, he needs to die, do it, do it. And I'm just like, what the fuck, no. Well, yeah, and, the, and <laughs> don't, stop, <laughs> but don't stop there. Decide how you want, you're gonna, you're gonna kill him. And he's like, decapitation, I'm just like, what? <laughs> Nobody had a heart attack at all in this movie. Everybody died weird. Yeah. Hang okay. yourself. Okay. No, and then like in the movie, apparently you can control what they do for them, before for two days before, forty eight hours before yeah, they die. Before they actually die. So, so you place like they die today's the thirtieth, they die on the first, and then they do all that stuff before that. So you could control two days before. You can get a prostitute or any bitch you want. Oh, she's gonna come over, suck my dick, do all this crazy shit, mm -hmm. and then when she gets home, she will die of a heart attack. <laughs> Which <laughs> it's it's stupid, man. Like, Which is it's very incriminating on by your part. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna pay this bitch no money. She's gonna do what I say, and then she's gonna die. Fuck it to them. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Um. All right. So I mean. Light Turner, they fucked up his character. I didn't like the actor. Nah, he was the fucking nigga from Naked Brothers Band. Remember that show on Nickelodeon? I do, but I don't remember. Let me show you. Picture on the screen. Yeah. And, uh, By the way, IGN rated this movie like 7 out of 10. Really? Rotten Tomato, 43% out of 100. I gave it a 2.5. Which one? Him. Oh, that guy? On the right, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was him? All grown up. Damn. I forgot that shit. The Naked Brothers, man. That show was so bad, too. <laughs> I never watched that show. I don't know. That was like the time when Nickelodeon experimenting doing all these fucking yeah. teenage sitcoms and shit. Teen Nick? Blah. Just Bert. How do you feel about Bell's character? He was good. I had no problem with him being black. Of the whole outrage, of the whole controversy of like being whitewashed and you know swapping races. As long as the adaptation is good, I don't see no you know I don't see nothing wrong in switching races because it's an American adaptation yeah. as opposed to set in Seattle and you know all this other shit. Um, I mean, whitewashing is a problem in Hollywood because there should be more you know. Um, jobs open for multi-ethnic people and shit but in this movie i thought he did a good job until the second half of the movie where he just like lost his damn mind and speech like came off as a psychopath yeah and he wasn't it didn't feel like he was composed no nah. like at first it looked like it was like he's smart and he's like yeah he had his <clears throat> the quirks the weird shit about l now but it's just like he just yeah he lost control he was just more like crazy trying to get this guy. Yeah, and I felt like this should have been better. It would have been better if it was a, a series of like 10 episodes, uh, like hour long each. Okay, yeah, with that, the same quality. Yeah, with the same, you know, with the same people to develop people more. It was just rushed. Um, and another thing I hated that Ryu came off as a villain instead of like being neutral yeah. to all this shit. Cause, and then, you know, in the anime, he just didn't care, he was bored. He just did a sick, he just did everything just for the sake of being bored. He's like um, omnipotent, or like he's just like he's just neutral. Yeah, player. he's like from somewhere else. He doesn't give a fuck about it. He just yeah. likes it. It's yeah. just to entertain him. So. He, he didn't like in the anime. He didn't. Um, he didn't come to tell um, Light to kill people. Yeah, he just like, he was like do what you want. But no, he's no, like no, humans are light, interesting. Light, light already ready. Put like a million names in the book, and then you he's like, yeah, you're very interesting. Yeah. yeah. And as in this one, he's just like, kill this guy. I had had multiple people before you, and uh, they killed people in it. And then um, he wanted Light to do it, which was like he had his own agenda that they never explained. And then in the notebook, they someone wrote, "Don't trust Ryuk," 
Yeah. It is like they never explained that a way he did beforehand mm-hmm. or anything like that. Don't trust Ryuk. Ryuk, yeah. And then he said, it's not correct, okay, it's Ryuk. And I'm like, how do you feel about William Dafoe, though? It was perfect casting. Like, he wasn't in the movie that much either. Yeah. He was hardly in the movie. Just like they focus on this stupid little fucking relationship yeah. throughout the whole entire movie. That was just the whole focal point. And I feel like that's what American movies do for that. They focus on that love. It's so stupid because American movies, they just focus on love and, you know, teenage angst and all this other shit as opposed to, you know, there's where Japan has balls and it can, like, if they did a direct adaptation with, you know, without any, like, drastic changes, it would have stood out all on its own to Western audiences and it would have stood out and people would have fucked with it because it's something different yeah. and dark as opposed to, you think it is dark because, like, the director's like, yeah, we're going for a dark and gritty adaptation yeah. for it. And no, it's not. It's a fucking little teenage, little fucking lifetime movie, <laughs> Death Note bullshit that everyone tries to gravitate towards and does not work at all. I was not fucked with it. Will, they say William Dafoe, he, they asked him, did you have, did you watch any of the anime for, as source material to like build this character Ryuk? And he's like, no, nah, I didn't need to. I mean, <clears throat> he couldn't, which I, like, you know, I, I understand, like, I don't, I don't hate him for that. It's, it's the writer's, it's the writer's job for, for them to get the character right because they're writing the script of the movie. Yeah. As opposed to actor, he can't you know, make drastic changes, either he'll compromise his job or the movie will be held off in production for a minute, you know, trying to recast someone else because they have creative differences and shit like that. So in no way I don't think it's his fault for saying that. He's just being, you know, honest. honest. And his portrayal of the character, you know, voice acting wise, it's a he did a spot on job, he sounded just like him. His mannerisms is just this sudden change of character and the movie was just not Ryuk at all. But overall, like, you know, his mannerisms and the way he talks was like spot on. But I think he was like the best actor overall. And what helped a lot for, in my opinion, was that he wasn't in the movie that much. So whenever he came, he did like he did his parts, he said his lines, and it was all good. Yeah. And yeah. which he should have been in more because him and Light are just like two peas in a pod. They're like, yeah. Always together. Yeah. Wow. Well, they made this about that girl. Yeah. yeah. And I I just don't like that shit, man. It was I don't know. Uh, I was, you know, I'm glad she died and everything, but they just missed the whole opportunity of him being a dick, using her as a tool, you know, instead of like falling in love and, I love you, come back, you know, I'm sorry for doing that to your dad, blah, 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 blah. She was waiting for him in the rain, like in her, and it, like, of yeah. stupid. The bitch is stupid, bro, and then, like, what was the, when was the whole revelation in the fucking, uh, in prom? Yeah. Right. Did you skip that part? Not. Ah, yeah. oh, damn, I forgot. She was um. She fucked him over because she wrote his name in the notebook, and uh, she's like, "I want you to." She. Oh, fuck. What did she? She wrote his name in the book, while they're in prom, and then the cops are you know watching the whole yeah. them and shit like that, and um, she's like, "Give me the book," and you know that stupid rule where you rip off the page and burn yeah. it. The person doesn't die. I will rip your page off from the book and you won't die and the whole end of the movie is just him trying to eat the chasing yeah. with him and Elle which is him trying to give it to the girl trying to change her mind and the plot twist was the whole elaborate plan of him going to the computer room writing her name yeah. doing all this crazy elaborate shit with the fairies well that made no sense and uh, you know him surviving at the end while yeah. killing her in the process and all that shit well I felt like that was like the most like because they did he did that in the show a lot like do like elaborate plans yeah yeah but it was they should have started off with doing that because the the basis of the show was just him and l topping each other that's what that's what i like i I felt like was missing in the movie they made l like light was really smart and all they were trying to do is l was trying to one up kia and and, you know light was trying to up l but they didn't really show that that much yeah Uh, i mean it was, yeah, it was cool to do that elaborate plan at the end, but it was just, I don't know, it was just, too, too late. it was too late, man. It, that couldn't, like, get me back. Yeah, and was, the whole open-ended ending of L finding the page, it's just, like, it's never, 
And some geometry book. It's some geometry it. book because the cops came and you know I guess she hid the book. She hid like the book in the page inside her geometry book and left the house. But wait, he didn't have it. He didn't take geometry. And then he's just like, I right, stop the plane. I gotta get out. Yeah. I finally found it. Okay. He found the page and you see him pick up a pen and you don't know if he you know wrote yeah. Light's name in it or or how about how, um, how he came to the conclusion that it was Light that was Kita in the fucking little coffee shop. Yeah, Light. that was. I they, know. he had a suspicion that he was Kita, but like they, he had no evidence proving that you know that the other than the guys in Seattle. No, it was the it was the like when he went to a coffee shop. It was right after his dad, like his his little press conference, and he didn't die. So he's like, oh, it has to be like, like automatically after that. Yeah, I don't know, man. That shit was just stupid, bro. He just came to coffee shops like you're Kita. Like, do you have no evidence? But the fact that Light told him, he's like, I have no control of it. Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't what know what if, I'm doing. Yeah. What if this other person has the this power and the person that you were looking for does no longer has it or some shit? Extremely like fucking vague. Yeah. And I was like, bitch, I'm taking you down. Fuck yeah. your shit. But, I mean, a direct adaptation would have been nice. Or if they should have just change the name of the characters and let like a different person you know another adaptation let the person be someone different yeah. with different characters this is why like people hate it because they got the names of these characters and people expect their personalities and to be on point and then you just diminish everything from the source material and that's where people are getting pissed off yeah of course and this is a netflix movie right yeah so you're right they should have done Maybe spend a little bit more time, have an hour episode, ten episodes, hour each. Yep. It could have like made this. Because the anime short is only what like thirty seven episodes. Yeah. So it could have done a lot for like an hour. Yeah, for each episode, they could have done a lot, and it was just very disappointing. And as a movie, on its own, without you know newcomers to watch it, I don't think it holds still as you know as a co cohesive movie either. Enough if you've never watched the anime. Yeah, I mean. You know, Orlando, my barber, he's like, yo, I like it a lot, and all this other shit. So, I mean, I understand, like, it's going to resonate well with people who ha don't know shit about the anime. That's why I would recommend it, just to, like, huh, you want to know about the source material? Watch the anime. You're going to, like, this movie's complete shit. Just watch the anime, and you're going to fall in love with that shit. So, it could be, like, a good, like... It's a gateway. Yeah. It's a gateway for it, but at the cost of, like, pissing off, like, fans mm -hmm. of of the original, you know, source material and stuff like that, man. But I mean, if it, you know, opens up for people to be anime fans, so be it. That's cool. But, you know, what are the odds of the actual people checking out the original source material as having a movie at their disposal? Yeah, know? of course. I, um, after all, like, people <clears throat> who don't know about anime and, like, watch this movie are probably not even going to watch the anime. Yeah. It's not going to get them. Like that Unless exciting. they fell in love with the, like, you know, with this movie, with, it, with all the characters and the, and the depth of all <clears throat> of the screaming and shit. But listen, I mean, anime anime adaptation to live action never hasn't worked yet. My to favorite this point. is Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Evolution, the best movie ever. Revolution. Revolution? No, it's Evolution. Evolution. Oh, it's, evolution. Wow. it's a revolution of second ass. Uh, another movie we watched. Me and my brother watched. Uh, what was it? Hitman's Bodyguard. Quick little synopsis. Good movie. Not great. I give I mean, it a it seven. Is. A seven point five. I give it's it an eight. An eight. All right. It was funny. Uh, when it comes out on Redbox, you can rent it for a dollar. Watch it on HBO. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything you want to put into that? All right. Final thing. You don't have a score for it, but what would you give uh, Death Note the movie? A six point nine. No, bro. It's just like a four and a half. <laughs> four and a half? Four and a half out of ten. I mean, there's good shit about it. There, you know, it's shot well, it's directed well, but it's the main character. I didn't like his casting choice. Um, L was good, except for the second half where his character just breaks. Ryuk, he was good, but you know, the character change was unnecessary, and. Um, I just didn't like the soundtrack for the movie. They're going for like 80s rock. There's like there's like a scene yeah. where these people kill each other. Well, I mean, kill themselves. They jump off a building and they're the like cops. playing like 80, 80s rock. It was the FBI and just yeah. kind of were following them. And then when they're falling down the fucking uh, 
Ferris wheel, they're playing more 80s rock as well, and it's supposed to be suspenseful, and then you hear, love hurts, <laughs> and then the bitch just falls and fucking dies and, and shit. And the page is, yeah, I'm fire. <laughs> four. I'm giving it a four. Yeah. For those who haven't watched the anime, I would highly suggest you not watch this movie yeah. and watch the fucking anime. It's a good investment in your time. And just watch the anime in general. Yeah. Yeah. All right, before we end this video, we'll give a recommendation. Movie, anime, whatever you want to recommend right now to anybody. My Hero Aka. My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia as well. Um, yeah, I mean, as a current anime now that no one has really put on, I would say My Hero Academia. Food Wars. Food Wars. I haven't watched that. Um, if you like food and porn, why not? Food, food Wars. Um, How about that? <laughs> now, but it's going to be the new Shonen that's going to be like... I, I feel like it's gonna be like the new top, you know, anime that's gonna be out there for for a good minute. Like uh, Naruto and when Naruto first came out, like when One Piece first came out, you know, it's losing its its buzz since you know it's finishing and One Piece is like almost nearly like 800, 900 episodes. Yeah. But it started off to a good start. The characters, you know, they're not well developed, but the show is paced so well that you can just like watch it in a party and call it a day. And um, you can't help but like fuck with Deku. He's such a likable nigga. You wish you wish nothing but the best for the kid. And um, the main three characters are really good. Like Todoroki, Deku, and Bakugo. I love Bakugo. Bakugo. Let's just cut this right now. We'll end the video here. All right, all right, guys. Peace out. I'll catch you on the next video.